Welcome back to another video. In this quick DIY video we changed the cabin air filter in a 2005 Mitsubishi Lancer. Now this is a 7th generation CS Lancer. Now these instructions will apply to any car in that age range and also the Evo 7, 8 and 9. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to need for this job is just the cabin filter and you're also going to need one screwdriver. Now we'll just take a quick look inside the box and see what the filter looks like. Just take it out of this bag here. And just taking a quick look at the front panel of this filter, looks like it can only be installed in one direction in the car. Let's jump in the car and we'll take a look at installing the filter. Okay, so the cabin air filter is just located behind the glove box. Now you'll notice here that I've put a label up here when the cabin filter was last changed and that was back in June 2019 so it'll be interesting to see how dirty this filter is. Now to access the cabin air filter we just need to remove this glove box and we just need to locate this little tab here. Now this little tab is a removable tab and it's designed to stop the glove box from falling forward. Now once you've uh, found this tab, all you need to do is just pop your finger around the back and you'll feel a little rubber stop. Once you've located the rubber stop, just need to slightly close the glove box a bit and you'll see that the tab is free and you can see that it's wriggling there, all you need to do is pull down and that tab becomes free and we'll just pop that through there. Now looking at the opposite side of the glove box there is another tab located behind the glove box there uh, but this one's not removable so all you need to do is just pull the uh, side of the glove box to the side and the glove box will just drop down. Once the glove box has been lowered to this position here we can just remove it and we'll just give ourselves a little bit more room here. Next we're just going to undo the screws holding the cabin filter in place. And once the two screws are removed we can now just pull out the old cabin air filter. That looks pretty dirty so it's a good thing that we're changing this filter. Now if you've removed your glove box and you've noticed that you've got a plastic blanking plate uh, where this air filter will go, uh, you can actually cut that out with a craft knife and then fit an air filter. Now when fitting the cabin air filter it only goes in one way and you'll notice you've got a little plastic pin here. Now if you look at the new filter uh, you can see that you've got a little hole just on the bottom there for the pin. Uh, and that's for the pin just to slide through and we'll just fit this new filter in place and that pin just slots into the hole there okay well we'll just screw this up and then that'll be a job done now to refit the glove box it's just the opposite of taking it out uh, we just need to hook these bottom clips back onto the mounts here and then just close the glove box and you just need to pull the side of the glove box just to get this rubber stop past. Now we're just going to refit this little removable clip here. What you want to do is just make sure that this little hook part at the top of the clip is facing towards the back of the glove box and we're just going to pop through this little rubber stop into this little hole here. Just want to tilt the glove box back a bit just to allow that stop to pop through. And once you've done that you just want to push the clip backwards towards the back of the glove box. Alright I'm just going to update the sticker here and that's the job done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.